es un regalo de la naturaleza. It is a gift of nature, a versatile food. It is the most popular fruit in the world. Bananas supply energy to all who eat them. It is a unique fruit, rich in minerals, carbohydrates, vitamins, potassium, natural sugars, and fibers, which help to improve muscle tone. Bananas are grown in nearly 130 countries around the world, starting from their native lands in the Asian tropics and in Oceania and South America. Alongside plantains, bananas are the best positioned fruit crop in the world, both in terms of production, which is around 98 million tons, and in terms of trade, which is valued at over $4.3 billion. After its world-renowned coffee, bananas are one of Colombia's primary export crops and it is a pillar of the rural economy. It is currently one of the most profitable crops. It provides work, food, and economic sustenance to countless families. The banana, the perfect fruit, People theorize that the banana, as the plantain fruit, is internationally known, was one of the first fruits cultivated by man. In Colombia, the cultivation of bananas is concentrated in the provinces of Magdalena and in the Urabá region of Antioquia. In the province of Antioquia, nestled in a peaceful valley, lies the town of Jardín. Bananas are planted here in this fertile and mountainous region. First of all, you have to perform a soil analysis, then see if the combination of land and weather are apt for this crop, because you can't grow bananas or plantains anywhere. It depends on where you're going to plant. And first of all, you have to do a soil analysis, and you have to make sure the weather is good for this crop. The soil can't be too acidic, loamy, or with too much clay. Those are the main things to keep in mind for this crop. The soil has to be a match, and you must make sure that it will be profitable with just organic fertilizer and other organic matter, because otherwise you will lose your investment. The land here is fertile and apt for this type of crop. And what's more, it's a plant that often cohabitates with coffee. So in practical terms, let's say that they complement each other and steal each other's fertilizer. Although I think the banana plant gets more, since they can be 10 to 12 meters long from root to canopy. So they often cohabitate, and when it comes time to fertilizing the ground, this plant is very grateful, since it doesn't need a lot, and it only needs fertilizer every three or four months. If you plant four or five thousand coffee trees, it's going to take them between 20 and 24 months to begin production. In the meantime, you can harvest a lulo crop, alternate that with coffee, and grow bananas as well. So after you've sold the lulo, the bananas are ready to start producing at the same time as the coffee. So that's a huge advantage. A lot of work must be done before bananas reach the end consumer, and farmers must overcome many hurdles in order to harvest a quality product. First of all, you have to prepare the soil where you're going to plant bananas, making a 40 by 40 centimeter hole. We fill it with organic matter, lime, and we select top quality seedlings, making sure they don't carry any plagues or diseases. To avoid bringing diseases into the field, all work tools and offshoots must be disinfected before being brought to the field. In order to properly manage the banana plantation, I have to make sure I only work with three generations of offshoots. Mother, son, and grandson. This is a key factor to having a good crop, since if I use offshoots beyond that, that will degenerate the crop 
and production will be reduced. From the time of planting to harvesting, this crop takes between 18 and 20 months, depending on the weather. If the weather is cool, it will grow faster. But around here, it takes between 18 and 20 months for us to begin harvesting the first bunch. As you can see here, we are in the process of bagging this banana bunch. Why do we do it like we're showing here? In order to protect the bunch from animals that can afflict the fruit that make up the bunch. Such as bees, gnats and birds that come to suck the nectar and they can damage and scratch the fruit in the process. So that is why we are bagging at this time. Right now, he is trimming the flowers and after that, he will put the bags on the hanging bunches. There are two ways of bagging, this way, which is manual, and another way, with a ring. But I always recommend this way. Why? Because if you place the bag using a ring, you won't be able to trim the flowers off the bunch, and you won't be able to trim offshoots, which is necessary for the bunch to grow prettier, thicker, and with better color. Also, when you bag using a ring, there is a tendency not to climb up the stem again to do further maintenance, which you need to do in order to get top quality fruit. We harvest every eight days. Here, we manage a number of plants that ranges between 1,700 and 2,000. The hardest part of working in a banana plantation is carrying the harvested bunches by hand to the processing area, no matter what the farm's topography may be. We have to climb steep hillsides, carrying the bunch on our shoulders, and we have to bring it to the destemming area. It would be great if we could transport it using beasts of burden, but we can't use animals to carry it because the fruit is very delicate and we run the risk of damaging the fruit if we use pack animals or something similar. Here we see a long stick of bamboo that is being used to prop up the banana bunches. If we didn't use this, we would have to hold them up with string or something else, because the bunches will fall if we don't hold them with bamboo or string. Here we use bamboo. We harvest bananas every eight days, and we check the entire plantation, looking for bunches that are ready to collect, and we bring them to the processing area. And every eight days, we repeat the process for this crop. The work of taking apart the banana wedges from the large bunch is hard manual labor. There are risks involved in this. One of the main risks has to do with the weather. You don't know what's going to happen when you're on a steep slope or difficult topography during heavy rains. Another risk that we run is pests and diseases, and we are fighting against those through good maintenance of the crop. What we call the Panama disease has already reached us, as well as yellow cigatoca, elephantiasis, and mold. Those are the diseases you find in this area. A good crop maintenance system will help obtain better fruit by promoting the proper absorption of nutrients, as well as preventing the spread of disease. As you can see here, this plant is around 20 years old and she is in great shape thanks to proper management. This plant started growing over there, 
and we have pulled offshoots from various places. As you can see, there are four sites for this plant that was planted 20 years ago. So what is going on with this plant? Everyone can see her now, and you could think that it's a new plant. That is because if you manage the crop properly, you can't tell its age. If you do it right, it will always look new, no matter how old the plants may be. So that is one of the good results of knowing how to manage this crop. It will always look young. That is how you can determine if you have good production on the farm from this crop. People around here are very grateful for the banana crop because in times when there is no coffee, people subsist on bananas. As we say, it's our daily bread. One of the advantages of bananas is that you can harvest them every eight days and every 15 days for plantains. As you can see, they just pulled a bunch that weighs 75 kilos. For you to get 75 kilos of plantains, you will need minimum four very good bunches. So you can see that one plant produced a 75 kilo bunch, whereas I would need four plants to produce 75 kilos of plantains. So the difference is remarkable. That is why people prefer bananas. After you harvest a bunch from a plant, it will continue to produce suckers, so you don't have to replant. That is, if the plant does not have any diseases, it will produce on average two and a half new plants every year. If you work it with the proper technology, as it should be done. In Colombia, plantains play a major role in the family's diet commonly cooked to accompany various dishes, such as beans. It is commonly eaten fried, either green or ripe, in slices or tostones. Bananas and plantains are crops that we can say are the best in terms of survival. I like planting bananas because it is one of the crops that I enjoy working and is very profitable. In las montañas de este pueblo, En un jardín de Antioquia, los hombres cultivan en una larga tarea un fruto perfecto, el banano, un regalo.